for you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. A potentially exciting match in store. And it's Paris Saint-Germain who kick off. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, a bit short with the clearance. De Bruyne. Now Gundogan. And with that one. Erling Haaland! And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And the short option preferred. Ruben Dias. And return to De Bruyne. But wasteful from City. Verratti. Neymar. Gundogan. Well, that pass easy on the eye. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Hakimi. Hakimi. Opportunity it is. And Lionel Messi has scored the opening goal of the contest. Such a boost. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so clearly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Ake. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Messi. Making sure it didn't get past him. Holland, he's in behind. In it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be.
Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. An effective ball. Mbappe. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, let's take another look at this pass from Mbappe. He has so much vision, and what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Neymar, not much chance for the goalkeeper there. Great goal. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. And Messi with teammates to play it to. Great opportunity. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here it is again. And the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Walker. The save was a good one. Well, the clearance half hearted. Messi. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, opting for the short corner. And he drills it in. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, here it is again. The cross is inch perfect, just begging somebody to run onto it. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, we're highlighting Lionel Messi for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders out there, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. So the second half underway, and City left with a real mountain to climb. Lovely, incisive pass. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Well, a bad pass it was. Holland. 
And back with Grealish. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the danger is still there. De Bruyne. Now with Grealish. And return to De Bruyne. Gundogan. Oh, that's a fine save. And taken short. Gundogan. Foden. Gundogan. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Keen to take it short here. Kevin De Bruyne has moved away from the flank. But really sticking to the task defensively. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Mbappe. Now with Hakimi. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Ramos and Fabian Phil Foden now Gundogan gonna get a try and a body in the way Corner kick played in. Not really the ideal clearance. And stopped there by Marquinhos. Well, PSG doing well to regain control of the ball. Counter attacking, very much an option. Neymar. On to Fabian. And it was a good counter attack in the making but very alert defending takes the shot Mares opportunity it is Soler Kimpembe. Sumptuous pass from Neymar. Oh, good save. And Manchester City will go to their bench. It's Neymar's corner. It hasn't come to very much. Neymar. He's failed to hold it, Neymar. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming.
Mares. Now with Silva. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee. And so the referee blows for full time and it's disappointment for Manchester City, a defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.